Hello, beautiful soul. I am Kalua. How are you doing today? So as you know, I've um I've done many things. I've done a podcast or, you know, YouTube show on here, Breakthrough or Bust. I've done many things and they've shifted and and changed and and have grown over time. And um this is something a little bit different that I have not done before. I don't know if I'm gonna, you know, continue, but it was something that I had a nudge to do, and so I'm going to do it. And uh, what I'm going to do for you is a, a bit of a small reading, okay? And it's uh, going to be like a love and relationship forecast for the season. So right now we're in the season of winter. This is a really great time for going inward, reflection. And, you know, I, this is the most powerful time for for truly making change, okay? This is the season where we do the work if we actually want to transform and grow. And uh, I just, I think that's why I felt like uh, I want that nudge to come and and support you in, in doing that reflective work. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. You know, as with anything, if it, if it resonates, then go ahead and, and, you know, use it. If it doesn't leave it where it lies, it's okay. And I'm actually, you know, winter is also about indulgence and play and pleasure. So I'm playing with the background and, and doing all kinds of things with that. So I don't usually do backgrounds. So enjoying being out in the ethers. <sighs> So what we're going to do is look at really that love and relationship guidance and reflections for you for the winter season, for the season of Yule. All right. All right. So the status, right, of of whatever. And so this can be romantic relationship. I mean, this can be business partnership, whatever relationship you're wanting to do some reflection on. That's what we're going to look at today. And the status of it is the wellspring, which mm, I did not think this through with the, uh, there we go. The wellspring. All right. And it's the wellspring, like that's that place where you are nurturing yourself, taking care of you reflecting what are you thirsty for what are you wanting to bring into this relationship what do you want this to be to fulfill you this is where you are you're you're possibly being very reflective already about this let's see how they feel about things ah gentle force is what what's coming about how they feel, right? So they're in it for the long haul, okay? That gentle, consistent, persistent, small action. It's not, you know, the the short sprint. They're not making big action. They're taking gentle, small steps, moving forward and, um, and, and, you know, running the long race, and that's probably a good thing, right? So where are you? How do you feel? Ah, you have a big vision for this. You have a big vision for this relationship, whatever it is. Um, the biggest thing is stay in alignment as you grow with this. Keep... Checking in with your heart. 
Is this serving me? Um, we have a tendency to want to look for little reasons to run, to not be there fully. And this is where, if this is, if this is the, the big vision for you, keep checking back with your heart. All right. So as always in relationship, the most important way to have success is to work on yourself, right? You are always working on yourself to be the best version of you to bring to the relationship. This is how relationships are successful is when both parties are doing that, okay? So what are you working on? What is it time for you to work on? Mm, letting go, releasing past hurts, forgiving, moving forward. So, huh? Yeah, I'm here with you. Um, a lot of times, how do I want to say it? Okay, so most of us have had prior experiences that have shaped behaviors, okay? And what we want to do is in our winter season, as we're doing the reflective work, look at what are those past experiences? How did they affect you? And be honest, right? That's actually a really big thing. I just did an energy update in O Shift Here We Grow for the week. And being honest with yourself, that truth with yourself is really important this week. Uh, be honest with yourself. Be truly honest with yourself about how you felt about it, about how it made you feel. Because when we swallow that, when we squash that, when we try to be tough and ah, it wasn't that big a deal, we're not doing ourselves a service, right? We're not, you know, nobody else cares, okay? <laughs> it's... We're not proving anything to anyone, okay? True strength is in vulnerability. Be truly honest with yourself about how it affected you. Get to the root of those feelings. Feel them and then release them. Let them go. You can write a letter and burn it, you know, whatever it is. But truly releasing the past is how you're going to grow in this relationship okay so more than likely there's something happening in the relationship that's triggering you it's reminding you of something lean into that lean into whatever that was okay lean into it explore it feel it release it purify it light it on fire, whatever it takes, all right? And this is truly how you begin to change the patterns. You know, by, by releasing, it doesn't mean you're opening yourself up to get, you know, trampled on again. You still keep the lesson, but you don't have to keep the wound. You can let the wound heal and still have that lesson, okay? Still have the, what everything you've learned and still have grown from that. And it's safe, you're safe, okay? So here is a message from your team on this relationship. Oh, <laughs> victory, your divine helpers are conspiring to 
help you have a happy outcome with this. So that's actually promising, right? It, it seems as if something here is in alignment, okay? Now, of course, this is always for you to check back in on, okay? Sit back, say it to yourself, whatever it is you want from this relationship and see, right? Close your eyes, breathe into your belly. Does it feel expansive in your body or does it feel constricting? If it's expansive, it's in alignment. If it's constricting, it's not, right? And as you connect to that, your team is helping you have victory in that, all right? To have success. So here is a little divine inspiration for you as you move forward, okay? All right. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Isn't she lovely? Mother Merciful Jamal, today you arrive with laughter to break open the jail. And that's from Rumi. Okay. Today you arrive with laughter to break open the jail. And immediately, like I said, that just truly reminds me of this energy of winter, right? We are reflecting to break open the things that are holding us, the things that are keeping us stuck. When we truly allow ourselves to receive the information, to reflect on the information, to go inward, feel the feels, release the tr triggers. And we arrive with laughter. We're going to do this from a state of joy, from taking care of ourselves, nurturing, pleasure. All right? Here and now, receive the solace, comfort, and mercy, for not all success must be hard won. The compassion of all the mercy, of the all merciful shall soften the hard edges of your life and your being and bring you the grace that is deserved. Ask the mother of mercy to bless any matter into divinely inspired resolution. Know that your prayers are powerful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I hope this is helpful for you. Let me know what you think. Let me know. Hey, you want me to do this for uh, the all the seasons? Um I will come back with a couple different things as well, besides love and relationships. So be on the lookout for that, you know, subscribe and make sure you hit notifications so that you can uh, get all the updates. I see you. I love you. I believe in you. Bye.